Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and connect your Robo Q Revo, your Roborock Q Revo robot vacuum cleaner and mop using the Roborock app for iOS and Android devices. If you're interested in this particular vacuum or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Now let's go ahead, let's get this thing set up. So we have the mobile app downloaded. This is the screen you're gonna be at once you sign in or create an account. Now we need to add our vacuum, so let's select the plus button in the top right hand corner. We can add our device. You can scan a QR code to connect to the network or you can choose by model. We'll just choose by model so you can see all the different models that they have. Ours is front and center there, but look at all the awesome RoboVacs here. So we're gonna select ours. Next, you'll be at this screen where you need to connect to your Wi-Fi network. In this case, we have our network selected. Take note. 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi is not supported, so make sure it's a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Then you're gonna select next. Open the robot's cover to see the Wi-Fi indicator. Press and hold the power and dock buttons for three seconds until you hear the resetting Wi-Fi. Resetting Wi-Fi. All right, we got it. Select next. Now we need to connect to our device's Wi-Fi. So you'll see it's showing up right here, Roborock Vacuum. We're gonna select that and go back into the app. We're back into the app. It automatically loaded to the screen. It's giving us a voice prompt that is connecting to Wi-Fi and we're seeing everything happening right here. Once it's done, we'll be able to select the big blue use now button. Wi-Fi connected, everything set up. That took like 10 seconds. Use now. And here we go, everything's loading. All right, we have to accept. Then we have some notes here for setup, map saving, we'll toggle that on. Select next. If you have multiple stories, you can do that if you want. Okay, offline maps. Collision modes. And now we can update firmware. So here we go, we'll toggle auto update on and select update now. Updating firmware. Got a voice prompt, updating the firmware, it'll take anywhere between five and 10 minutes. Currently, everything's installing. All right, we got a voice prompt letting us know the firmware update's complete. That took one minute, and now everything's showing that it's up to date. We can go back out, and now we're into our device within the Roborock app. You'll see our Q Revo up in the top. Now let's dive into some of the app settings. First, up in the top right hand corner, you'll see three dots. We can select that. That's all of our device settings where we can manage our maps, change our home level, view all of our maps here once we have some set up and created. Next, we have our schedules here so we can set a cleaning schedule, start, which days of the week you want it to repeat, Cleaning modes, what do you want? Vacuum and mop, just mop, just vacuum. Customize, you can do it all right here. Then you'll see we have our obstacle avoidance. Toggle that on or off, depending on which one you want. Next, we have our carpet settings, dynamic lift, avoid, ignore. I always recommend toggling on the carpet boost. And we have a deep cleaning. You can toggle that on or off. Floor cleaning settings, clean along floor direction, you can do that. Pretty cool. Helps minimize some wear and tear. Dock settings here, we can adjust the mop wash frequency. So look at that, we can slide the time up or down. Washing modes, light balanced or deep. Auto empty, auto drying, and the duration of dry, two, three, or four hours. Then we have our robot voice settings here. You can choose our language, adjust the volume. Robot settings. So look at this, do you wanna turn the button lights on or off? Do not disturb mode, off peak charging. This is great if you wanna do that. Helps keep costs down, pretty smart. Offline map is a nice feature you can toggle on too. And then we have our unit setting. Which one do you want? And then you'll see further down, pin and go. Once we have a map, we can do that. Remote control if you wanna drive it with buttons or joystick. We can activate spot clean or return to dock right there too. We can view our cleaning history once populated. 
Maintenance, this is great. Nice breakdown of each individual part and component when it's time to repair, replace, clean. User manual, product information, firmware updates right there, and device sharing. So we could share this with friends or family. Enter a phone number or email address. And then lastly, we can delete our device as well. And then back in here, the main section you'll see, cleaning area, battery level, cleaning time. We'll have our map once it's all built out with different things we can adjust with it. Full room, clean if you want, or zone. We can also activate quick mapping. You'll see we have our suction and water flow settings here, different route options too. Pick and choose which one you prefer, but we'll toggle between them. So a lot of nice options there. And then down at the bottom, clean or dock. So you can do a couple of quick things right there as well. So very easy, simple, and straightforward app to set up as well as to use.